This is question 14 in P6 OCR Gateway Physics or OCR Gateway Further Additional Science. Dan builds a circuit using an LDR. An LDR means light dependent resistor. Oops. So the resistance depends on light. The torch is not switched on. Describe what happens to the resistance of the LDR and the speed of the motor when Dan switches the torch on. So this is a two mark question. You probably guessed firstly one mark for the resistance and the next mark for the speed. Just pause, just try and remember which way does resistance change with light. So does higher light make a resistance higher? or does higher light make the resistance lower? And then once you've got that change in resistance, what's going to happen to the speed of the motor? Okay, well, an LDR, higher light means a lower resistor, resistance. Sorry. So initially, there's less light, the torch is switched on, there's more light, Higher light makes the LDR resistance lower. You don't need to write the next bit. Um, that lower resistance means a higher current, but it's crucial to your understanding. Higher current means the motor spins faster. as we just actually discussed in the previous question. Next little part of this one. Dan uses a potential divider in a circuit. Look at the information in the diagram. So a potential divider. Basically, we're taking the potential between this V in and this zero volts, the potential difference I should say, between those two points and we're dividing it between a potential difference across this resistor and a potential difference across this resistor. The input voltage is 5 volts. So this diagram at first is a little bit difficult to understand but the potential difference is basically between zero here five there, if I were to put a voltmeter there, it would say five volts. You have to calculate the output voltage, which is this potential difference here between this zero volt and this V out here. Now this one's a little bit easier than working with the resistances in parallel. Um, it is all about sharing voltages in the ratio of the resistances. So I'll leave you with that, have a little go at doing that. Share out the voltage in the ratio of the two resistances. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, well first of all let's calculate the ratio of R1 to R2. And you do this in maths, ratio R1, R2, 12 to 36. Um, simplify that, the common factor is 12. Divide 12 by 12 is 1, divide 36 by 12 is 3. So I have to share out 5 volts in the ratio 1 to 3. So there are 4 parts, if I add them up, 4 parts to share out. So 1 part is worth 5 divided by 4. So the potential difference across here, if you like, is actually 5 over 4. Okay, and I don't need to work that out, but just for fun, 5 divided by 4, it's 1.25. 1 and a quarter. So what's left over would be 3, the, the 3 uh, shares of 5 volts. So that is 3 times 5 over 4, or um, 15 over 4, if you like. 
and that 15 over 4, if we do that in the calculator, is 3.75. The answer to this question is 3.75 volts. Okay, I hope that helped.